all right hello everyone and welcome back to the channel so today's video we are talking about why wargaming is removing some of the premiums from the tech tree so i'm sure most of you don't really know about this but it has been confirmed wargaming will be moving the uh tech tree premiums basically these tanks in the shop that you can always get um let me scroll down to them here all these tanks right here that you can always get anytime 24 7 they are going to be removing these from the tech tree and pitting them only where they can be bought in bundles and stuff like that sold separately things like that for money for gold uh bundles stuff like that so um i would just thought i would make this video here to talk about why wargaming is going to be doing this and uh i think it's a pretty important thing to talk about i want as many people to know about this as possible because since these are going to be leaving if you do want any of these tanks you know right now uh, this is probably a good time to buy them because who knows when they'll be back it could be a while before these tanks come back so i thought it was a pretty important video to go ahead and make right away um so that you guys have enough time to try to save up some gold before update 8.3 when they are removed from the tech tree now there are going to be three vehicles that do stay in the tech tree that will be the T23 E3 IS6 and the Dicker Max. Now I'm not sure why those three tanks are still going to be in the Tech Tree Premium uh, area. Uh, not sure why Wargory Gaming decided to keep three. Maybe I can understand the IS6 because it's kind of you know a legendary tank, sort of for just always being there uh, and for you to be able to be bought. But the other two, I'm not quite as sure about. I'm not sure what Wargaming was doing that. For, but all these other ones are going to be removed now they're not all on here because i have bought quite a few of them from here so um not all of them on here are on here the stuff like the tog 2 the legendary tog 2 and many other tanks will be removed so the reason wargaming is going to be doing this is it's really quite simple actually wargaming has devalued gold recently over the last you know months years Gold, as you can probably tell, has gotten easier and easier and easier to get for free. I mean, we have stuff like the Battle Pass. Now, even not just uh, for free, but just for little, uh, very little money. I mean, currently in the shop right now, you can get double gold for the same price uh, for, if you haven't already bought that, that one-time thing. Um, uh, you can get, there's free gold bundles often, there's... Uh, gold in the battle passes for five bucks you can get like three thousand gold i mean um there's nothing like that before uh and i mean there's a bonus code where you could just get a thousand gold for free for the na server a few days ago i mean there's so many things where you just get this free gold all the time or tons and tons of gold and that has made it where gold really isn't that valuable or hard to get anymore so it's quite easy for people to buy these tanks so we're going probably wants to sell a lot of these in uh, for money or for bundles that are much more expensive, but there's multiple tanks, so it's not as easy to get for free um, because you have to have more gold, so then you have to still buy some gold to get them and stuff like that, so that Wargaming will be making money. I'm sure they're not really making much profit off these tanks because people just wait till they have enough money because they're always in the store, saved up. Um, they wait until their gold, free gold is saved up, and then boom, they buy it uh, for free. And I'm Pretty sure Wargaming doesn't want that happening. People getting tanks uh, that they <laughs> didn't intend to really for free. So um, that's most likely why they're going to be removing these from the Tech Tree Premium section where you can always get them. Kind of sad though because these tanks were always nice that you could always just come here and get a few premiums if you wanted to until obviously you ran out. Uh, there, I mean there were quite a few decent ones in here. I mean we had the T-34, the, uh, the Jag Tiger, I mean the Tog, the infamous Tog. We got some other tanks in here as well, AT-15A, Panther M10, T-26E3, lots of other tanks in here that were, of course, very legendary. I mean, the Lurver, the M6, um, and all those sorts of tanks. So, uh, if you do want those tanks before, you know, uh, they are leaving the tech tree, you know, and you who knows how what they're going to come for, if they're going to come for money, bundles for gold, or when they're going to come, I would recommend going ahead and... You know getting those as quickly as possible so yeah that's pretty much just what this video is about just letting you guys know this so that you could get those premiums before they're removed in update 8.3 and like i said they're not completely removing these things they'll still be sold obviously during uh the event uh not event during the shop but that's what i have been told so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye